Uh, I just hope I have a good voice tomorrow. So uh, tonight, today, I'll have to take it easy on my singing. But uh, we are playing the Wind and Molting Blossom. The other day, we tried to finish this run with Lady Nijo, and it got interrupted because my power dropped out. So I don't know how... It looks like... I was a little afraid I wouldn't be able to continue the run, but at least it doesn't, like, crash the run. I don't know if it's saved at the last node like it does in FTL, but... Well, we end it with Living on a Prayer by Bon Jovi. <laughs> uh, that sounds like a little desperate cry for help at the end of a wedding, so probably not that. I'm going to move my head over for this game. I believe it's better over here. Well, let's continue. Living on a Prayer by Bon Jovi. I guess that could be a wedding song. Probably be a different wedding than one where you sing the Lord's Prayer followed by Living on a Prayer. <laughs> uh, how are you doing, Shogi? You ready to continue your stream tonight? It'll be fun to get back into the world of Rev and Voldo and everybody. That'll be a that'll be a fun thing to get back into. Oh man. It has been a weird week. Such a weird week to I feel like I'm camping inside my own apartment, barely having any water. Showers are weird weird thing oh okay so it looks like i think i already did this fight i think i restarted huh i wonder if i restarted where we are at the beginning of uh the last time because i know this is the fight with the bird who blows us backwards yeah and i'd gotten some other units okay so i lost i lost a good one or two regions worth of uh progress i guess so it looks like if you shut down this game in the middle of playing it, it doesn't save your progress at each jump like FTL does. So, you were horribly exhausted, Pi, and you had a three hour meeting last night. Whew! Yikes, my friend. Yikes. Okay. Okay, I start off with an ambush. Well, um, I'm sorry to hear you're exhausted, but, uh, sounds like you got a good plan for what's coming up then, I guess, at least. Okay, knock back. You do two damage. Okay, this guy can go kill this guy. Got a chest over here. We didn't do this fight last time. Uh, you have seven health. You can do five to him, I believe. Well, we got two people doing two damage here. Oof. Weddings are not fun for a guest, Catholic ones especially. Hmm. Yikes. Holy crap, this is a crazy fight to jump right into here. Okay, well, we're definitely doing this. I can kill him. Do, 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 Okay, I guess we're gonna do this. Okay, that'll kill him actually because there's extra damage. Well, we're gonna take some damage here. Starting off the day having more difficult time even than we did yesterday or last time we did this. Okay. Oh god, really? This guy too? Jesus. Yeah, weddings are not fun for guests. It's probably true. Uh, what I will say is... I get paid usually when I go to weddings, so... <laughs> I'll just be happy about that. Okay, so if I do... a trap here... I knock you back for five into a trap for two. You'll have one health left. Nice. Hey, Davarok with the Prime sub. Appreciate that, my friend. Appreciate your, uh... Welcome to the randoms, I should say, actually. Because that is a new sub. That's awesome. I still have exactly enough stuff here. Do, do, do. Should be able to block exactly all that damage. Oh, I already attacked with you, didn't I? Yeah. Okay. Do, 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 do that. 
Senor Noel Pants always gets paid one way or another. <laughs> this is true. You remember going to a wedding and after they said man and wife, they played Indiana Jones theme music? <laughs> oh, that does sound pretty awesome. Uh... <laughs> That's a meme-tastic wedding. Oh crap, I forgot to do... this. And I can still kill him at least, so we do this. Uh, we leave that gold on the ground so the other guy still appears. To kill the little other dude next time. Oh, he's gonna attack her. No, he's not. Uh, he's gonna attack him. He's got one armor, that's fine. Okay, good. Okay, so we want him to get attacked this time. There. There. There, you should attack. Oh, okay. I heard that sound and I thought it was a trap. At least empty is not a freaking trap to do more free damage to us, which has been happening a lot lately, it seems like. Yeah, we had gotten a concubine before, too. Man, we... Uh, losing all that progress, man. That really sucks. Finally made it from YouTube. Well, welcome, uh, Dave Ruck. I appreciate that sub and welcome from the YouTube, my friend. The raccoon lady could have survived if it also wears no pants. You don't simply pick up Watto with a pants. <laughs> so the raccoon character needs to take off his pants is what you're saying. Or she needs to take off her pants. That might be a little awkward. Scoop a doop a scoop. Scoop doop 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 doop. Ugh, we got this freaking guy right here, man. These fights are way harder than last time, I swear. This guy does three damage, which this is the only girl that even has enough health to not die from three damage. Or not... Yeah, this guy would actually die from three damage. Alright, you got two armor for this guy's two damage attack. We're gonna have her absorb this attack. We'll kill on this guy. <laughs> Traps on the ground. Heal that does nothing. Okay. Alright, so this guy can absorb the next hit here. You have eight health. You like this game? There's a guy with no pants, another guy you fight with French bread loaf, bread bandits or ninjas, a couple of crazy women, and one awesome noble champion. Classic. So classic. Okay. You like this game because you can make fun of all the weird stuff that's in it. <laughs> that's really what it is. Because there's kind of a lot of weird, crazy stuff in this game, honestly. Have I seen a ninja? I still have not seen a ninja, no. Oh, jeez. You like the art style? I would like to not be dead, is what I would like. So if I move you... It'll do three, four, five damage, plus three... So that's eight, still two off kill on this guy. So I literally cannot kill this guy this turn. So it'd be best if I kill this guy while having her tank another three damage, I guess. 
Your favorite is the animation when the merchant picks up the gold. Nice. <laughs> So if he moves back to not get the 40% chance to miss, he'll take the damage. I'm going to guess he's going to... guess he's still going to do that, or he'll just shoot at her and hopefully miss. That's what I'm hoping for right now. God, he can one-shot this guy if he shoots at him. I sure hope he doesn't do that. Oh, goodness. Okay. He had a 40% chance to miss. Of course, he doesn't miss. It's fine. Finish him off. My goodness gracious, man. These two fights are harder than the fights that we had when we last played this. I don't know if we've gone a different direction or just random to different stuff or something. Because, ouch, man. What's up, Bear? How are you doing? You like this game gives you Into the Breach vibe? Yeah, I could see that. I could see the Into the Breach comparisons for sure. Oh, I have a lot of scrolls, though. Okay. So I can get her her extra weapon slot. Let's go ahead and do that. Also give her more health. Make her able to use a weapon that won't uh, use resources. Okay, I'll do that. I want to go one, two, three, four, five, six. I think I can do that. Um. Uh, all right, I want to try to ambush them. Yeah, okay, we get to ambush this time. Remember that I can do that. Okay. So we have an extra turn here to work with. I'm going to use ammo here. Kill that guy. Okay. Have we started talking about food yet? <laughs> Have we? Uh, Shogi did say a guy fights with a French bread loaf. I think he's talking about this guy. <laughs> the Shinto priest is hit smacking people up the head with a piece of bread, I guess. Uh, hold on a second here. Yeah, I want to do this. So you kill this guy. So if she does this, he can move up to kill this guy. And I, mm, this guy might take damage. Hopefully he doesn't die. I think he's might be one. Oh, he's dead. Ah, God damn it, man. Freaking trolley ass game, I swear. Well, hopefully we get free crew. Free crew, free free people. So, and we're coming up on some stores. I was probably gonna want to replace that guy anyway, but I think he was the he was the upgraded. God damn it, man! It's so frustrating. Lost all our progress the other day, and now I'm just losing dudes here. Let's have her go tank this guy while we get all the gold here. Okay. Fear. You can kill this guy. And get all the gold here. 
Yes, Ayako Soga died. Uh, huh, okay. Did we get to do? Okay, we we lost a level four guy, and we got a level one one bandit. It's fine, whatever. At least we kind of got somebody to replace him. We're gonna be replacing both these bandits eventually, most likely. Okay. Maybe if we tell the bad news in a good way, it won't sound so bad. <laughs> uh, bad news in a good way. Uh, okay. Um. <laughs> Robin Hood just beat the crap out of me and my men. What are you? Why are you laughing, you idiot? Wonderful, wonderful. Uh, uh, Robin Hood men in tights reference. Love it. Um, okay, I can kill this guy. It means I'm putting you in harm's way. And we are basically out of ammo. God, this freaking dude again. They already have like 12 dudes, man. Give me a break. Twelve. There's like 12 of them. Okay, there's not really 12, but still, come on. All right, what do we got here? Um... We can kill this guy. You're going to take damage if I have you walk up next to him, so let's not do that. Oh, uh, you've already attacked anyway. Okay. So you have... Four, how much armor? One armor still, okay. There. You pick up the gold. Let's place traps for no reason. You back off. Uh, this guy should appear for the gold. Okay, we kill him. Do I have any armor left? Yes, this guy's got armor, so he can absorb the hit. Hit you on the head with my... guitar banjo thing that I have. Uh, so, shoot one of those two guys, please. Good. All right, should be able to kill him this turn. Yeah. All right, I've kind of stopped going for the achievements for this girl because we need status effects and we got to stack them and we just don't have the consumables or the materials to really make that happen, feels like. All right, there's the concubine. I think this is the girl we got before. Yeah, we have a good amount of money. Uh, the stun weapon I wanted to get. Stun instead of... I think I also wanted to get the bow I got last time to use less ammo. All right, so who do we get rid of? Is it the merchant? It's probably the merchant. Yeah. All right, buy her. Do, do, do. Get some level ups on her. And we're definitely getting the stun weapon, and I'm pretty sure I'm replacing the knockback weapon with that. And I believe last time I did buy this because it uses one less ammo. And we got weapons cost less, damage. Attacking uh, concubine makes them take damage. 
Yeah, nothing amazing there. By the scrolls. I am going to do this because ammo is becoming an issue, and I'm going to buy a couple ammo. There. And let's buy food. I think I forgot to buy food in my previous game here, but okay. There we go. All right. Um, we might still be able to hit this shop, maybe. This is the guy that blows his back, so I do need to get some healing, actually. almost forgot to do that. So let's heal... I'm gonna heal this guy almost to full and her to almost to full. Okay. Aside from the guys that ignores armor and bosses, which enemy do I think is a scare? Do en enemy do I think is a scariest? Um, basically anybody with high health and high damage, and that's most of the elite. Like the tree guys are at range. Anybody who's got range and high damage, too. So, any of those soldiers, like the fire arrow soldiers and the spear soldiers. Like, this fight right here was really tough last time because I think I aided the Fu Fujiwara. I'm going to aid the other guys this time. Okay, this is less bad because they don't have any of the arrow guys, but... These guys each do three damage from two range and have ten health. It's pretty insane, honestly. Six damage between the two of these guys. So put him at nine. I can stun. I can stun you. You can't get in range. Can I stun you? I actually can't get in range to stun you. Jeez, okay. Fights like this are some of the worst, where there's just multiple all-ranged, all-high-health, all-high-damage. It's like an enemy with frickin' five missiles or some bullshit, you know? Between these two guys, they have six damage, and I can't stun them. I can't stop them from doing their damage, unless I can get out of range of them. If I move here to stun this guy, she's going to be a range of two six damage dudes, basically. Oh, man. Is this still an early access? No, this game has been... I think it's considered full release now. Uh, they're still patching it and adding content, though. But I'm pretty sure it's not still considered early access. Jeez, I cannot get out of range of this guy. He's gonna leave him with one health, I think. Oh, Jesus Christ. So unless I leave her in range... Alright, what if I put her in range of this guy? So this guy doesn't get hurt. Do, 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 Okay, I'm gonna put her here. This guy attacks him. He'll probably go attack one of these people and do one real health damage. You won't be able to hit anybody. Uh, what a crappy fight, man. You consider Yoke, Yuki Ona an alternative to suicide. Is that a reference to something? It sounds like a reference to something I'm not getting. Alright, so I want to stun this guy while trying to kill this guy if I can. No, I'm not in range, 
with her. She's the one who got hit. That sounds like a something from Princess Bride. Please consider me as an alternative to suicide. The prince says to uh, Princess Bataquap. Okay. Are you, there's one of these guys too? Why is there one of these guys every single fucking level, man? Ugh, rage. Give me a stinking break, man. Stun. This actually kills him, I think, doesn't it? Yeah. But well, we're not gonna be able to kill this guy, so let's just get as much gold as we can then. I'll pitch you with my bread loaf here. Because it is, Rand knows all the references. Okay, so that was a mix of some Japanese phrase with the Princess Bride, I think. Soldier, yes, I would love to have a soldier instead of this guy. Yes, please. Recruit, all right. All right, so we're coming up on the blow your hair back guy. Uh, and set the ground on fire. Um, so. Can't get you an extra move. Can't get you an extra move. I can get you an extra health and armor. Get you an extra health and armor. Let's make it sure we don't lose our, so we don't lose our concubine. And then we can do this as well. Okay, there. All right, bird guy, bird boss guy. Am I surviving or thriving? Kind of surviving. Honestly, kind of just surviving at the moment. Yeah, not in range. It's been a week of surviving if you live in Texas, that's for sure. Alright, so next turn is the important one that we got to survive. I'll be able to move her right in front of him to absorb the attack. Can I hit him? Just out of frickin' range, man. Okay. Just out of range there. So he's going to attack her, he's on the white spot, so it's going to be 1, 2, 3, 4, so I need to not put anybody in this area, so I need to put you down here, and this guy should actually be safe to move here. If I miscalculate, he's dead, so, you know, no pressure or anything. You already attacked. No, you didn't because you're not in range, because nobody's in range, because this guy's crazy boss. We're going to cleanse him of his fire, so this won't actually do any initial damage, I believe. Correct? Yes. Just barely in range there, so we do this. Oh, is he going to blow us back into the fire is the question. <laughs> Cure those two and heal them. He's got a movement of seven. And she hasn't attacked yet, so... He's immune to the stun. 
So I can't kill him this turn. Have you attacked? You have not attacked either. That's three, four, that's five damage. We're actually one off lethal here. I believe. Yeah. Okay. All right. That actually could have been worse. Almost killed this guy, but he didn't die. So there we go. That's GG. This fight did not go as well as the last time we did it. All these power outages, if only Rand got Envoy instead of Zeldin Shield, Kappa. There you go. I cannot tell you how many times I've heard the Rand needs a Zoltan in the last week from the stream. My god. Demand answers. Yeah, it's like that. It's at least the sixth one, I think. At least the sixth. Oh man, I gotta go through an earthquake to get this shop. And multiple if I want it to be efficient. Uh, let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I don't know how many exact jumps I get. I think I'm probably going to go here and here, though. Just, I, I need a shop to heal. I turned this one down last time. Because I have a shop coming up. No, nah, I'm not going to skip it. All right, we got an archer. Yes, archer here. Okay, good. So we're going to get rid of this dude right here. Get rid of the bandit. Or the archer. Oh, we got the thing that gives us food when we go to a store. That's the thing we already have. Um, she's got six health. I'll heal her for a couple. Buy one food. This takes two per. I'll, I'm going to buy two ammo. Probably don't need it, but better to have it not need it than to need it not have it, as they say. Alright, so we can get one extra range there. Okay. So if we went up through here, we'd be going through an earthquake, which sounds like a terrible idea. Should we tell you puns instead of Zoltan jokes? You you didn't know it was said already, or it's fine. It's it's like puns. People are gonna say them whether I say they shouldn't say them or not. <laughs> you can say them as much as you want. I'll just you know make fun of you making the joke like I make fun of people who make puns. You don't have to feel bad. You're um. Damn it! You're just making jokes. I'm not mad at you making a joke about it. I'm just telling you how many times I've heard it. That's, that's all I'm telling you. Just out of range. Okay, good, I didn't get in the range of you. If I got mad from hearing the same thing over and over, uh, I would have quit streaming a long time ago because it's kind of a part of being a streamer. People come in and uh, make, make a joke that they... from something they see. And um, not that it's bad that do do that, but it's like don't realize that it's been said, you know, two or three times already that day. Just kind of the nature of streaming, honestly. Alright, we're gonna absorb this. That'll kill, uh, this will kill you. That is the thing in streaming. Just a thing. Does the map play out like FTL? What's the shadow? Yeah, it's, it's, uh, it's like the Rebel Pursuit. Is what that is. Can I kill you this turn? Yes, I can. Beautiful. 
Uh, Winter Wilting Blossom showing depth today. I don't know what that means. What is? What do you mean by showing depth? Have I played Crying Sun's Kappa? There's a perfect example. Uh, am I having a satisfactory run, Kappa? Oh my god. Oh, chat, so original. You're so original. You all should go into stand-up comedy. Uh, you'd make a killing. Be better than frickin' the legend himself, Jerry Seinfeld. Or some other stand-up legend. Last time I went there was n there was nothing. So let's go there again and see if there's still nothing. What's the deal? What's the deal with airplane food? <laughs> That's right. You know, people make jokes about Jerry Seinfeld, but I, a friend of mine in high school had um, had the had the Seinfeld CD, and we listened to it over and over, over and over and over. Wow, there's a lot of people that do a lot of damage. This 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 place here. Ugh. Why does everybody have range and I don't? Why do why do all of the enemies move further and do more damage from farther away than I can freaking do? Seriously, man. I need to upgrade her so she's got one more move cuz she's like almost able to do something but not actually able to do freaking do anything. Ugh, this is so frustrating. I can quote a lot of the stuff from, it's called, uh, Jerry Seinfeld, I'm Telling You for the Last Time. It was like one of his final stand-up routines or specials he did or something like that. Every single one of these dies, guys does two damage or moves a freaking crap ton of distance. All right, let's just kill that guy with you. Let's get out of range of these guys, I guess. <laughs> he only does one damage. I need to close the distance on him. I mean, let's compare. Elite Skeleton Archer moves two spaces. My archer moves one. He has nine health. My guy has six. Four range. We have one extra range on him. He does one extra damage. Like, if this guy was fully upgraded, he'd be stronger than this guy. But this guy is basically as strong as a fully upgraded archer of your own level. So it's just crazy, man, how OP these freaking units are. I swear. Three damage and bleed. Three damage and stun. Let me just stun this guy, I guess. Uh, I think I could have killed him. If I had stunned him first, then shot him, I think we would have gotten extra damage. That was a misplay. Oh, God. Every single person's going to go attack or... T okay, I think God he healed, actually. We just realized in this game, we trek roughly 2,500 kilometers, should have gotten some coconuts. <laughs> Naked, bar hairy barbarians look kind of funny. These guys? Probably say a lot of these units look kind of funny, honestly. Ugh, okay, I need to... Okay, we can do a heal on you. That will make you be able to go up and stun this guy. Yes. That'll kill you. You can kill him. Good. You have armor, you can go there, you can go there. Okay, alright. I think we've recovered here. 
Coconuts cut in half and banged together are the best. Okay. <laughs> all right, so Monty Python and the Holy Grail reference. All right, you're just on a roll with your references today, I guess. Okay, this and this. That'll kill him. He only does one damage, right? Yeah, so we're gonna make this last a little bit longer so we can get all the stuff. But how did the coconuts get there? Maybe a sparrow, maybe a swallow carried the coconuts? Uh, what do you mean? African or Europe, European swallow? I'm just making all sorts of random references to that movie, not not in any particular order. Random, random quotes. Man, she only took one damage. We used a lot of key that fight, though. What is the airspeed of an unladen swallow? What do you mean? African or... European swallow. I, I don't know that. Ah! That is definitely the movie that me and my friends in high school were quoting hundreds of times way back when. Explore. Nothing. Okay, there's nothing there this time either. <sighs> Investigate. Uh, oh, we're ambushed. Okay. All right. Ugh. Again, ambushed by freaking elite dudes. Uh, and I can't bleed anybody. Bleed that guy. Okay, I can kill him by doing this. And this. Is he gonna be in range? No, good. Okay. I should stun this guy. So she can one-shot him. If I stun him, that'll actually make him unable to reach anybody. That's good. Okay. Vulnerable. And you do t you do one. Okay, good. There. He should walk up and attack him. Okay. You have one armor. You do one, you'll attack him. Okay. I mean, ugh, so many elite units were fighting. What the hell? It's like I'm playing on normal difficulty or something. Jeez. All right, so if I focus down this guy and have her go stun this guy, I think we can... We got this freaking guy to deal with too, though. Um, he only does one damage. Okay, so she should get attacked by him. Ghost on this guy. Okay. We're one off killing him, but he only does one, so he should attack the soldier. Her threat is 40, 15, so I go pick up that gold. Back off here. Okay. Good. Okay, alright, uh, so now we need to focus this guy down. There we go, uh, and one more attack will kill him. You can kill this guy, and one more stun on this guy. I'm using so much key every turn, or every fight. I guess I should have just allowed his attack, but oh well.
We're living. It's like using all my missiles and drone parts every fight or something. Alright, what do we got here? 14 scrolls. Let's get uh, this girl fully maxed so she's got one more move and one more attack. Got a concubine leveled up here. Seven for the next level on those guys. Kind of crazy. Soldier and Archer have like the same upgrade costs and similar paths. Pretty crazy. Holy bandits, Batman. Okay. All right, there's only two ranged dudes. So, if I can kill him. Him. Let me do... Bandit leader only does one damage, okay. Um, He's the only one who'll be able to do damage. So we kill the ranged dudes and we are pretty, pretty safe here. Okay. Now they're forced to all come through here one at a time. We shall funnel them through. Oh God. All right, you do four and apply a bleed. If I just do this, you'll die. You're dead, sir. You do two damage. Let's make it so you can't even reach us here. Alright, yeah, if you guys want to congregate over there so I can just shoot you. That's great. This guy's just gonna hang out down here, I guess. Can't figure out, what am I supposed to do? I've just been living in the desert for days. Now, you die from bleed, so I can ignore you. Ignore you as I watch you bleed out. I guess I should just actually kill you, probably. The bandits tried to path tried to path to my leader. Perhaps starving makes you blind and unable to see rocks. Yeah, could be, could be a thing. <laughs> unable to see rocks. What a rough life. I need to leave that gold there. So you're gonna pick up that gold and disappear. Disappear, disappear. Um. So we need to kill this guy and then not pick up his gold so that he'll come back and then we can kill him. So don't pick up the gold. Three gold shall be the downfall of this thing. Leave that space open. So that's where he'll appear. What's up, four Ted on four? Hope I'm having a good Friday. Surviving, my friends. Surviving. How about you? Hope you're having a good one. Ah, uh, <laughs> oh, crap. That's why did I think you only had one health? I don't know why I thought that. Yeah, I'm gonna stun this guy because it'll be a um. Actually, if I do this, if I do the stun, it'll be lethal on him. Oh 
die from the bleed out now. So I don't get his gold. Alright, I'll just pick up that gold, I guess. This fight definitely could have been better, but we didn't take damage, so that's fine. If you run out of few food fuel, you become a star. Your your party becomes starving bandits. Yeah, I guess we kind of do. <laughs> How much have I healed this run? Maybe we can unlock the artisan. Um, artisan. Thirty HP. I have only healed seven. Problem is, you have to do it from shops. It's thirty healing from shops. I swear, some of the achievements in this game are not. There, there. You have to really focus on doing that. Um, so we can get training. Yeah, let's get training. I think. Ooh, training and heals. Nice. Ooh, piece of candy. I remember this door. Let's do that. Do I need healing? Not really. That healing we just got was really nice, actually, so... We can do level 4 on our Archer and our Soldier. Or I can save up to get him the one extra damage. I mean, the one extra range. Eh, and the range in the move is really nice, but let's, let's do it this way. Make the Soldier tanky. Make the Archer... Archery. Rangy. I don't know. Let's not go through there. Tis a silly place. Alright, this guy. Okay. I think I can actually get out of his range. Okay, maybe not. This guy. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, I can't get this guy out of his range. So I'll have to have use her to absorb his shot. She goes and kills this guy. Kill him. She'll move here. We don't want to stand next to her because this guy's shot is an AoE. Oh, I should have to you before the archer. Whoops. Okay. Can I actually kill this guy this turn? I don't think I can, but I do have enough armor that if I can make this guy be the closest. Can I do that? I think so. That's only three damage, actually, so I can get her to be the closest here. Nice. You, sir, are now my merchant that goes around picking up stuff. So I want you to be the one that he attacks. I'm gonna move you here. How much move do you have? Four. I'm not gonna be able to get in range while being out of his range without grouping, without piling up for his AOE. So I guess I'm doing that. Ah, oh, frickin' earthquake, I forgot. It's fine. It's fine. Frickin' earthquake, man. Alright, I only took one. That's fine. There's blue option chase a student, I believe. Maybe it was another event, but it says to lose discipline is to lose the fight or something like that. Well, if there was a blue option there, it would have been grayed out. So, it's either a different event or I have to go... I have to go the other... Chase after the student or whatever. So maybe that's what you're saying, if I chose that. I think you said that last time. We had probably the same exact event, but... 
I'm glad I took the heal and the scrolls, honestly. Okay. Free heal and scrolls are both things I want. Alright, open the crate. Free stuff. Free stuff. Thanks to my epic hard one, no pause crystal B videos, you got your first normal win mode. Win. First normal mode win. Nice, Chacha Lulu. Grats, my friend. That's great. Huge achievement getting a first win in FTL. It's awesome, my friend. Alright. Let's see here. Okay. He does two, you got two armor. Absorb that. You go put a bleed on this guy. And you move down here. Okay, good first turn. Scoodle do 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 Achievements, let me look. I said I wasn't really gonna go for these this time, but I kinda wanna see how how we're doing. Uh, have a party member apply a status effect to a target already affected by, afflect, affected by one or more status effect. 9 of 30 in one playthrough. So, he's already got bleed, so let's apply that. He'll die from the bleed. I'm gonna not attack this guy. So if I uh, do vulnerable and then stun him next turn, that'll apply towards that achievement. He'll die from the bleed. So I'm purposefully doing a little bit for this achievement here. Achievement hunting like we did in FTL a little bit the other day. If I do that and then stun, you don't die, right? Perfect. We've applied two status effects. Uh, and I don't need to kill him yet. So I can get all the gold. Okay. Which do you like better, the wind or the wilting blossom? Uh, well, since the wind in this game likes to do damage to me, I'll say the wilting blossom. Because the wilting blossom just smells so nice. It smells very nice. <laughs> that guy's face. Uh, I just saw that for the first time. Oh, the pain! Uh, how could you do this to me? Scootle do 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 do. Uh, I don't think we ambush them, so let's let them come to us. Come to me. So. I'm going to... Vulnerable. And stun. He's going to cure his bleed, isn't it? That's fine. Stun. Bleed. Cool. And I can finish him off. So he healed him even though that guy was gonna heal himself, which is great. So four, do five, you have done one. So that'll be more than enough damage to kill him, so. Kills you anyway because of the extra damage on the overwhelm thing, so 
don't think we're getting any, getting any more progress on that one here. Okay. Do do do. All right, we can level up both these guys to max now. Okay, all our party are maxed. Last time we played, I think I replaced. I think I replaced the hunter with a gambler or something. We'll see if we make that happen again. So I think we're at the end of the seventh uh, region, the snow place when uh, we got disconnected last time, if I remember correctly. Right, you do two damage, so I'm going to want to go up and stun you, I believe. I can't get in range of this guy, can I? Okay, what we'll do is have you walk up and tank this guy. Yes. Should have done that already. Is that enough to kill him anyway? It's fine. Good. Do, 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 do. Okay. So many archers. A skeleton. Um, skeleton archer ambush, I guess, is what this is. Do, 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 do. She can kill him. He should attack her. And now we go pick up all the gold. Your neighbors are playing obnoxiously loud music and you can hear it through the earphones. Please send help. Ugh, that's the worst. Absolutely the worst. I hate that. The, uh... Oh! You do three damage. Okay, well, I wonder if I can get all the gold or not. Looks like I can't then. Damn. Okay, I missed out on 12 gold. So one of the really crappy things about apartment living. Hearing through the walls. I feel your pain. I really do. Unreal name. I right, so need 23 skulls. Scrolls. Skulls. 23 skulls for your level up. Okay, there's the gambler. It's like I know what I'm going to find in these places since I've done this run before. Um, I think I got Hawkeye last time. I don't think I can afford the Gambler and the Hawkeye. That's 400 and something. I think we'll have another chance to find... Uh, excuse me. Another Gambler. So I'm thinking I get the Hawkeye. Because one extra range on these two units and this guy. This guy until we replace him. It's pretty darn useful. Let me do that. I often buy the scrolls, but I feel like I don't need to. We usually have extra scrolls, so I feel like it's a bit of a waste of gold to buy the scrolls. Let this level her up a little bit faster. Four scrolls is probably not going to be that big a difference. Let's save our money. Uh, actually, you know what? If we do replace this guy, we probably will need more scrolls. So... I need some extra food to go around for extra gems here. Uh, a level three par farmer wants to join. No thanks. Even though I could have said a farmer with a spear is still a farmer, I said, yeah, we'll take you, and then went, just kidding, get out, psych. <laughs> Here we go, palace guard. Damn it. I have a hat. Uh, if I hadn't bought those scrolls, 4 times 12, I could have afforded him. Now I need to sell something. I actually cannot afford the palace guard, I don't think. Sounds like we have to deal with on university dorms. Ugh, yeah. 
I sell this guy. 18 gives me 140, 152. So I can get the gambler, but not the palace guard. Oh, this sucks. I really, really, really want this guy. He gets uh, four damage and a knockback at max level. I'd have to sell my Hawkeye that I just got. All right, I'm going to sell my food charm. I think I got the gambler, but who would I replace, honestly? This guy is the most useless on the boss fight, I think. Two gamblers, a side grade from a soldier. Yeah, it's, it's either the hunter or the Shinto priest. Hunter, I just got the uh, range upgrade for. Is the palace guard good? He's very good. He's an upgrade from the soldier, but I can't afford him. So... It's Gambler. Gambler replacing one of these two is the thing. I think I skip. I think I'll be able to get one in the next uh, the next area. I sold my food thing for no reason, so hopefully we'll have enough food. Yeah, Hunter sucks on the boss. But so does the Shinto Priest. The only thing Shinto Priest does for you is, you know, let you heal status effects. And if there are nobody doing status effects, boss... Um, it's not really that great. Stun this guy. Put him at one, they should heal. Both the Shinto Priest and the Hunter are bad against the boss. Key weapon is needed to counter the Pierce Armor Revival guy, I think. The stun weapon? Oh yeah, I'm not selling that. Oh, is that Flirtin was asking if I need all of them? Uh, yes. This weapon right here is actually the most OP weapon in the game when it comes to dealing with one of the most OP enemies in the game. The guy who pierces three arm pierces all armor to do three damage at two range with like two lives and 20 health. It's like a stupidly overpowered dude that I'm like, don't understand why he's like twice as powerful as every other enemy in the game. It's so crazy. these guys a bit here. Except I can't really kite an archer who's doing two damage a turn. I'll have to blitz this guy next time or something. What do you know? I got another voicemail. I'm going to guess it's going to say something like, Did you know that the extended warranty on your Oh my god, I wish I would stop getting these goddamn calls. The stupid extended warranty scam of car bullshit. I thought it was bad when I had an old car from 2006 or however old my car is. I'm getting that call even more since I got another car. It's so ridiculous. You get a call from Revenue Canada three times a week. What is that? I don't know what that is. Okay. You do three damage. I don't have anybody who can actually just take a hit from you without taking damage. Uh, 
Are they are they also people telling you about your extended warranty on your car that you should totally renew or some bullshit? We've been trying to reach you about your extended warranty and IRS scam calls are the only phone calls you get. Why do we even have phones? I know. Well, used to I didn't get them on... I used to not get those calls on my cell phone, but apparently now somehow cell phones get these calls. Somehow. Ah, uh, stun doesn't work, so let me do this. I said I'm 12 gold is fine. They say they are from the IRS, but Canadian IRS, and say they are from the legal department and need to give them iPhone gift cards. <laughs> that doesn't sound like a very convincing scam, honestly. You need to pay us an iPhone gift cards. Is that is that really what they say? Um. Ooh, what is that? Immune to disarm and stun, okay. Do you know you, it annoys you when you get calls and it's automated ads? That's, that's, that is part of being an adult, is having a phone and getting stupid spam emails and phone calls every day. Just so frustrating and stupid. I mean, who, 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 who runs a business this way? Who thinks, all right, I'm going to scam people out of their money and I'm going to be successful and rich. Who thinks that's a good way to go around living their life? What kind of crap people live in this world, seriously. Uh, okay. It's true a lot of scammers prefer payment in gift cards. And the end, it's either gift cards or Bitcoin. I guess I haven't heard those scams. Okay. Takes the supplies. Beautiful. The guys who are rich think that? I guess so. I guess the ones who are successful with their scamming. It's one of the reasons... I hate money. I actually, I hate money. And you know, there are people who say, Oh, only people who don't have money say they hate money. Well, the reason I hate money is because it makes people do stupid crap like that. Like trying to scam people out of other crap or do unscrupulous things or make bad moral decisions just because it makes them have more money. And, uh, it's like, that's, that's really what you value in life. You have a big car, a big house, whatever. How, how, how do you live with yourself when you're just scamming other people out of their stuff they've worked for? Um, this is a heel, I think. Thank you for the 100 bits. You hate money, money too. too. <laughs> I hate money. Here's some money. <laughs> Thank you, my friend. Appreciate that. Oh, this guy right here. This is the guy. 11 health, 3 damage, ignores all armor. After he dies, he comes back to life. AoE, straight through hit. This guy is stupid and overpowered. But we're going to stun him, I guess. Nice. Can one shot that guy, and these guys can't get in range. Scroll disarms. So this is the reason why I kept this guy around. Because having having status uh, removing abilities is very nice. It's very very helpful. Okay. Hey, what's up, Arrowhal? The price to send phone calls has dropped dramatically, so it takes just a few scammers to make billions off phone calls. Do you think they're really making billions? How how many people get scammed in by this? Do you really think they're making billions? Maybe they are, but I can't imagine. Can't imagine it's worth billions to do that. But I don't know, maybe it is. All right, stunlock this guy. I feel like sometimes people who don't have money 
just think that anybody who's rich is like has billions or millions of dollars or something. I don't think there's actually that many billionaires out there. And I doubt scam phone caller people. Oh, we're actually going to one-shot this girl or one-turn kill this girl. Actually make billions. I can't imagine. 1 in 10k get scammed. Are those are those the numbers? All right, we're going to purposefully not kill you this turn. So we can uh, finish you and get, get your gold next turn, hopefully. Uh, oh, billions of phone calls. I thought that was billions off, like you were making money off of the phone calls. Sorry, I mis misread that then. It's my bad. I can back off. The worst thing about the scammers is that mostly old people fall for them. Yeah, the people who, the people who fall for it, are the most gullible or um, least able to handle being scammed, or least afford it. Elderly, poor, whatever. Those are the ones who actually fall for that kind of dumb stuff. The ones who crypt large in corporation files can make more money than you think. They don't make billions of dollars, they make billions of phone calls. Yeah, that's my bad. I don't know if they make billions of phone calls. There's literally only... How many people are in the world now? Seven billion? Eight billion? I still actually... think they don't make billions of phone calls, actually. <laughs> there are eight billion in the world now. Well, I mean, I guess unless they're calling the same people over and over, maybe they do. I don't know. Way more phone lines than people in the U.S. Yeah, I was thinking I was thinking one person a day gets a call, but yeah, if they call the same people over and over, that's probably that probably would mean billions of phone calls, maybe. Okay, what you got? There's Gambler. Key weapons do extra damage is not bad. There's that five damage bow. On average, North America people have three phones per person. What? How many Americans have more than one phone? I guess my brother does. What? Three phones per person? In order for that to be true, there's got to be a lot of people with like six plus phones out there because everybody I know has got one phone. You have ten phone numbers, Arrowhal? Okay, well, I guess I don't know that many people that... God, how much money do people spend on that? Because my old phone was like 90-something bucks a month. People are freaking overspending on so much crap, I swear. Your office phone, your home phone, your cell phone. It tracks. You have a single phone, but like a ton of sims. The numbers cost like nothing. Okay. Tablets have MDN, so it would be a tablet, a cell phone, and a work phone. Well, I do have a tablet. I think there actually is a cell phone. There's a phone number... Uh, assigned to it. However, it's never connected to anything, so I don't consider it. So maybe maybe that's what I'm not thinking about, is things like tablets and stuff are considered phones. Alright, if I take a gambler, who would I replace? One of these two. Who is least useful? Um... You didn't mean an actual phone person. There are a ton more phone numbers than people. Okay, all right. That makes more sense. Um, I like keeping around this guy just for the range. I think I'm actually going to get rid of the Shinto Priest here and get a Gambler. He'll be, he'll be more damage against the boss. We can just start leveling him up. And I think I can afford to not buy the scrolls, I think, and get this upgraded ranged weapon. Should probably buy some ammo for this. Currently have enough for four shots. Got enough for five. All right, I think that's all I can do. Although I might as well spend my monies on the my, my monies money on the scrolls. If nothing else, I'm gonna get. 
Wired phone, four phone numbers, three included in normal contract, one business number, three cell phone numbers, one contract, two free numbers for iPad, and a second phone for the car. Zero euro a month includes only 100 megabyte 4G traffic. Plus the numbers your wife don't know of. Okay, Arrow Hal. Sounds to me like you're wasting a crap ton of money. I have one phone that I pay $35 a month on. And I'm barely make, <laughs> making a living. But I also have, this is my job, so. <laughs> my job is doing this, so I'm sure you probably have money to burn on useless phone numbers for some reason. <laughs> I don't, my mind is a little bit blown to spend that much money on stuff like that. Seems like a complete and utter waste to me. Um, let's see here. No wonder people in other countries think people in the U.S. are just frivolous and waste money. A lot of us do, apparently. Um, okay. Two damage. Two damage. You pay 59 something for phone things. Is only normal weird phone contract. Your phone iPhone number contract costs money. The rest is free. You have an iPhone. You only pay 59 a month. I call BS. I call absolutely bullshit. There's what company do you have that you pay 59 a month and you have an iPhone? iPhones are so completely overpriced. Well, the phone itself is contract wise. I don't know. Okay, um, Jesus, there are a lot of giant dudes on this level here. Could kill you. Oh, jeez, okay. This guy. Is this lethal? Nice. I'm actually curious who care which carrier you have that is only 59 a month because uh, I use Cricket, which is by far the cheapest I've ever found. And when I say I have Cricket, I've been made fun of by people going, huh. The, the fake phone company that you actually have no service with or whatever, but I've actually really liked having Cricket because it's freaking cheap as hell and I've never had an issue with service or anything like that. My phone is bought by your company. You just have to pay the SIM card contract for $16.99 for infinite calls to all providers plus one gigabyte 4G traffic. You have Telecom plus Vodafone. Oh, you're not living in the U.S. Okay. Alright. Um... All right, we're gonna stun this guy. Actually, I'm gonna hold off to kill him one more turn. See if I can one-shot you. Nope, we didn't roll a six. And I'm actually not going to apply status effects this turn so I can get, or not even attack you so I can get towards my achievement here. We live in a big city. Most phone companies have all the same coverage, yeah. Which is prob this, which is why I feel like I can do. Um, uh, whatever I have, cricket, because I have coverage in Dallas. If I was living in Texarkana like I used to, I'm guessing I would not be able to get decent service with a super cheap thing like cricket. Uh, you have to have phone coverage in a remote area, so you need to choose carefully. Yeah. Which I understand why some people do, in my opinion, overpay for phone stuff. Because some of the more expensive companies... I used to have Sprint, and then I had AT&T for a long time. And I was spending, like, over 100 I think, a month. And I was like, why am I paying so much? This is so dumb. 
There's so many overpriced phone companies out there, I swear. All the big ones, but they probably are the ones who also have to put up all the power lines and stuff, so some people have to... Or the phone towers. And the cheap ones like Cricket pay a small fee to use those towers, and they don't have to provide the infrastructure or something like that. Uh, Jamaica has two telecom providers. They are both garbage. That sucks. Alright, so you immobilize... Should be able to, like, one-shot each of these as they come up. Who does the most damage? They all do three damage, so you all do basically the same. That does seven damage, okay. You have two range. So I'm gonna get out of range of his attack. As we do some ranged damage there, and let them come to us here. Okay, we're all out of range here. Okay. Uh, getting a phone with a phone contract, contract is just expensive. Always cheaper just buy a phone yourself. Yeah, that's what I've done with the last couple of phones that I've got. Get, buy the second newest iPhone, you pay like nothing. I disagree with that. <laughs> like nothing? I've never seen an iPhone where I'm like, oh, wow, that's nothing. iPhones are so stinking overpriced. Um, I've never bought an iPhone because every time I've looked at, at them, I'm like, why does anybody spend this much on this? This is so... I, I just, I cannot fathom spending that much on a phone. It seems like such a complete waste to me how much people spend on phones. Hundred percent correct. The smaller companies roam off of other carriers. Is that a snuggie? It's a snuggie. So comfortable and snuggalicious. My ex would buy it. Would buy like the second, uh, like the not the most current iPhone, but the one that was the previous one, and still like two hundred bucks. But she did it through her contract, so that is really just so completely, in my opinion, the worst way to do it. Alright, you're stunned so I can wait one more turn here. Uh, you have Androids and iPhones. You would never use any of those Android phones for anything. For you, the iPhone is just so much better for you. Well, yeah, but does it really cost nothing? You said it costs... What did you say? Like nothing? <laughs> I want, I want to go on Amazon right now just to refute your statement. To look at what the second newest iPhone costs. To see what like nothing means to you. <laughs> I'm sure for you, it, it's you, you should get an iPhone. There are people that iPhones are better. I'm not saying for you it's not better. But to say any iPhone that's in even the last two generations is like nothing to me seems... Disingenuous or misleading. But it depends on what your definition of like nothing is, I guess. Um, morning with music. Alright, call out. Oh, lag. Okay, that was a weird lag thingy. I know a lot of people who prefer... Uh, iPhones, and I don't begrudge them at all. I, just because I think they're overpriced doesn't mean I think everybody should think the same as me or anything. Uh, okay, so you do... five damage. So we're gonna allow you to accept this first attack here. Oh yeah, and that, that doesn't even apply. Bleed applies. I should have done this first, actually. Stun doesn't apply, so we do that. And I'm not I'm not saying you're dumb for having an iPhone. I'm definitely not saying anything like that. I'm just saying price-wise, they've always been basically any Apple stuff has always looked stupidly overpriced to me. Uh iPhones are definitely overpriced. You're the last one defending Apple. You're not an Apple fanboy. 
Apple computers that you think are overpriced, their phones, it can go either way. Well, the thing I will say about Apple products, um, and one reason why I understand a lot of people need to use them for their industry is what they do do that other products often don't do as well is um, a lot of their audio and video editing stuff is way better, or at least more user-friendly, I would say. Hey, Hexton, what did we just get? Have a Marty party member melee attacked five times in one turn. What? What? How did I just unlock that? A party member melee attacked five turn times in one turn. Is that bugged? Because I'm pretty sure I just attacked her a bunch of times. Pretty sure that is a bug. <laughs> okay. But okay, I'll take that unlock. Alright, so he should attack this guy, or swallow this guy. He'll take five next turn. iPhone 11, 630 euro, like I said, costs like nothing. 630 euros is like nothing to you? Well, you and I have a very different view of the world. <laughs> That's 10% of your monthly income? You are a rich person. You are you are right, way outside of my understanding of what uh, is cheap in the world. Congratulations on all the money you make, because uh, <laughs> I am in a different tax bracket than you are, that's for sure. If I spend over 200 bucks on a phone, I'm like, oof, I'm pinching pennies to make sure I'm paying rent that next month. Of course, again, this is my job. I am a streamer who is not even a partner. So you probably have a real job that it pays you real money. So that's, that's, that, that. It's nice that $800 or 630 euros is 10% of your monthly income. Oof. I've never had a job where I've made that much. All right, let's, uh, we want to stun this guy. We need to stun this guy, basically. Um, can I get in range of this dude? I think I can. Don't want to show him, yeah. Family income, not just yours. Oh, okay. Okay, let's see here. We can one-shot that guy, I believe. Do you have a chest? I don't know if I care about that chest. Oh yeah, I'm also a single dude, so I'm the only income in my family is just me, so that's I'm sure a different situation than what you're in if you have family income. So you do two damage, you do two damage, so Okay. Nice. Okay. Yeah, I can pick that up. Okay. Uh, you pay higher taxes and social insurances. Okay. Cool. I don't know. I don't know about any of that stuff. I don't know about any of that stuff for sure. Okay. So let's go. Let's let's pick up stuff here. Um. I don't know tax. No, I don't know numbers on tax. I pay taxes, but I don't know numbers on them. Um, okay, so what we're going to do is... How do I want to do this? Okay, so I'm going to do this. Then I want to stun you. Like, if I had to answer the question, what percentage of your income is paid in taxes, I honestly couldn't tell you. I don't, I don't. Detail-oriented stuff, I actually pay somebody to do my taxes for me. 
because I, I hate money, as I said before, and so I don't, I get some, I pay other people to worry about it for me. All right, let's see, 360 gold. We get a store here, I think. What we got gaming stream. Yeah, we're talking. We're talking about taxes and money today, apparently, instead of food and other stuff that we often talk about. Okay, um, I can one-shot this guy. We're gonna do a little bit of kiting here, I think. Let's move over this way. We got a range of that guy. Wow, 500 euros a month to let someone do your taxes? Where do you live, in Canada? Is that real? I've never heard of a of a service that expensive to get your taxes done. I've never in my life heard of a service that expensive to get taxes done. Sounds like either a complete ripoff or some kind of BS thing. That sounds absolutely bullshit, honestly. <laughs> I hate to keep saying bullshit, but that sounds completely like BS to me. Okay, this one shots this guy because he'll bleed out. You're in Germany? All right. I don't know who's running that scam of a business, but they must be rich. Cost you $15 a year to do it yourself? Yeah. I pay a couple hundred to not have to do it because I used to do them myself and it I'm pretty sure I was screwing myself out of money, so that's why I pay somebody else to do it for me now. Okay, so I'm gonna kill you there. Uh, 45, okay, yeah, if you move there, you'll actually take that hit. Two, three damage there. The tax servers are technically lawyers here. Still, I don't, I don't, I, I don't understand that statement of having to do. What did you say? Five hundred euros a month to let someone do your taxes. I, I just, I honestly don't believe that statement. <laughs> I, I don't know what country you're in. That sounds like the biggest crock of BS that I've heard in a while. Honestly, I just, I can't, I can't even conceive of that. I can't even conceive of something like that. Imagine a Tengu enemy that flies over terrain. That would be interesting. Okay. Alright. Uh, 44 scrolls. Yep, I definitely didn't need to buy those scrolls earlier. Oh well. Let's take a look. Ooh, that's really nice. Ammo weapons. That'll make this do a lot of damage, too. So do I want more armor for my entire team, or do I want damage? Probably more damage is better, honestly. But I really like the extra armor in all of my units. You know what, since I got rid of the guy who can remove burns and fires and bleeds, I'm going to get the defensive one here. Even though I think the uh, ammo master is probably better, because that means this bow is means this bow does the damage it used to do before it got nerfed. Okay. All right. Oh, this guy. I think I can one shot him. And there's the bleed girl. Ugh, I don't have the way to remove bleed. God, five damage, lowest threat. 
These two, this combination right here is some absolute BS. Uh, what's the range on this? Seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Out of range of there. Shoot you one shot. <sighs> Damn it. You have the same range. Should have to be in range of the bleed girl if I did this. And I have no way to get rid of bleed, so I... Ugh. Wow, this is a really crazy freaking OP combo right here. Bleed girl, immobilize girl, stealth guy, healer, range damage dealer. This is like... Got almost stronger than my own team right here. Crazy high mobility, high damage, and stops your mobility. I don't know how to do this fight. Christ almighty, these... Crazy strong units. You wish Flea wasn't such a poor option. Yeah, Flea is basically a worthless option. The fact that you can lose people and take a bunch of damage, it's it's not it's not an option. Honestly. I'm not quite sure why they put it in the game. You're basically saying, okay, I'm gonna lose the game now. If you choose flu, uh, flu, flee. Can't even get out of range of this girl here. Wow. Uh... I like, I need to blow up a bunch of units and I can't blow up any of them. Oh wow, we actually got out of range of him. Okay, well that's really good. Alright, so you have six health. This is one off of killing you. With Benkai speedrun, maybe Flea will be useful. Uh, maybe so, yeah. I think I need to stun her. That's what I need to do. Oh, you're... Are you immobilized? You're immobilized. I can't stun her. Okay. He has a chance to one-shot her. Alright. Yeah, well, I guess we'll just stun you then. Oh, okay, that's lethal. Good. Bleed kills her. So what I need to do is I need to force this guy to attack somebody who's got five armor. So that would be either of these two guys. So let's have you absorb that attack. All right, I think we're actually going to make it through this fight without taking damage, which kind of amazed. Oh, target's low as thread. Is he going to move? No, he's still going to attack there. Good. What's up, Bernoose? Ah, oh, you got the flak U emote. Nice. Like it. Like it. Do this. I'm not going to be able to get all the gold, but gold is not that big a deal. This late in the game. 
It's satisfying to me when you can figure out a way out. Very little in this game is RNG, basically only point blank missiles. Yeah, and I feel like that's where where this game is similar to um, um, into the breach. That's where I feel like this has a lot of similarities. The hex base and the turn base. There are things that Into the Breach does, I think, slightly better than this game. Like, I feel like it's more clearly laid out where you can move, what you can do, because it's just got the move and then undo option. So, Krieg, thank you for continuing the gift sub, by the way. Appreciate that. Awesome. All right, so there's nothing else we can upgrade. Everybody's full health. So we did make through there without taking damage. Thank goodness. So that to your Kiyomori run that died because of ambush from Shield Pierce guy. Well, it's true. There are there are some unwinnable situations. I think I've had that happen too. I've had one or two ambushes where basically they immediately killed my uh, my low health dude during an ambush. There's literally nothing I could do. Damn. Can't get in range. Okay. And now, possibly the easiest fight of the final sector. Never surrender! Thank you for the 1,000 uh, thousand bits, Arrow. I appreciate it. Never surrender. Okay, I can put bleed on this guy. This actually should kill him. Nice bleed will finish him off. I'm going to go ahead and stun him. That'll make his damage be lethal. Good. Alright, where can you go? You can go down there. I'm kind of bunched up for this attack, though. Okay. Alright. Alright, so we want to apply bleed first, because that's the only status effect we have that will apply, and that'll make us all do extra damage. So, bleed first. I'll bleed you later, lady. She actually went to a pretty smart location for me not to be able to hit her with everybody. But thankfully, we have this OP bow. And actually, Hunter's not as useless with this, with this leader. Because even though he normally does one, he actually does do two with the Overwhelm. Since Bleed applies, he actually gets one extra damage from... Status effect being on her. Since we have bleed. Since we're able to apply bleed there. Alright. But still, I'd rather not take damage with you, so we're gonna do that. All right, so she's going to do an AoE attack. We're just going to absorb it because it's three damage. If only you could stack bleeds. Like freaking Path of Exile. Do bleed explosions on this girl. <laughs> she even attacked the one that wouldn't get an AoE attack. Wow. This is a chance to just kill her. Nice, double damage. Get blasted. Go ahead and get all the gold. Let's min-max our score here. Alright, we in range to get all the stuff. I believe we are, if I kill you with this. Oh, one off lethal, that's fine. This. Gold. Gold and gold. GG, cookie time, my friends. Finally, this run that has taken us three streams to complete. We have come to fruition, and I don't think I unlocked any of the other Lady Nijos. Because... Honestly, the unlocks for her seem pretty... ridiculous to make happen. I guess you're supposed to unlock the third version. We just apply a bunch of status effects with her over multiple runs. 5290, not a bad, uh... 
Not a bad score. Let's see how close we got. Well, I gotta look at achievements to see that. As Lady Nijo, 81 of 100. This one, we probably only got like halfway there because we didn't really even start getting to do this until we got the bleed girl. Bad score. Thanks, Christian. <laughs> Honestly, scores... My fifth highest so far. Not too shabby. I think we've gotten a win with every character now, right? Um... Yeah, I think we I think we have one with every character once. Alrighty, my friends, we're real quickly. Um we'll have time to do one other full run today. I'll probably only do one other run today because um the runs in this game are pretty long. And I have Shogi stream tonight. And I think I'm gonna take a break from uh the Wind and Wilting Blossom after today to spend more time in uh both FTL and that other game we've been playing lately. Dyson Sphere pro program, so uh, we'll do we'll do one other run. Let's we'll figure out maybe maybe a version of a character we haven't got a win with yet or something. But really quickly, I'm gonna Sam Shrestu's restroom. Six second ad break. When I come back, we will start a new one. Y'all rock. See you in a bit, my friends. <laughs> 